Good morning, your viewers and subscribers. Today on my bench is a recently provided to me by John. This is a Webra .08 Piccolo engine. It's a compression ignition engine dating back to the mid early 50s. And when I got it from John, <clears throat> it was completely locked up. Wouldn't turn at all. So I've got I've got good news and I've got bad news regarding this engine. The good news is I was able, after considerable effort, to get it freed up. The bad news is I don't think it's ever going to run still. So this is going to be a look inside video and I'm going to explain some of the things about it that I found and what I had to do to it. <clears throat> so there's our needle. It looks like the needle's in very good shape. As I said, this thing was locked up tight <clears throat> and it took quite a bit of effort to get this thing disassembled and freed up. Now what it turned out to be was the uh, you know the crankshaft was just seized up in there. So I have been able to disassemble this and this is where it starts to get interesting here. I don't want that part to come off first. I want this part. So I took the head off. The head was the first thing I was able to get off. And this is what I saw inside. clean head with the screw. I mean it wasn't clean. I had to clean it. But right now what we've got is a screw. Now, the thing that I don't understand and I haven't been able to resolve yet <clears throat> and why I don't think this thing is ever going to run. Let me see if I can zoom in a bit closer here. Is that I believe this piece here is the contra piston. Because there's nothing else inside here other than the end of the screw. There were no washers, gaskets, or anything. After considerable effort, I was able to get this portion to unscrew. Now, like I said, I believe that's the contra piston. And all of this is steel. This whole thing. And I thought that after many soakings in the ultrasonic cleaner I thought I could get it to move but I have not been able to get this thing to move at all so without the contra piston being freed up I, I don't have high hopes that this engine's ever gonna run now to me it looks like there's a parting line here like it should move and what I've done is I took a tap or not a tap a punch and just lightly tapped on this to see if I could get it to move while it was warm and I don't recall seeing it move at all so unfortunately and I'm not even sure if this is complete I don't know if there was supposed to be more here or not but I can't get this part to move so without the contra piston moving there's no hope of this thing ever running so but I did and there's another issue also so here's our nice little piston and I've got all this stuff still loosened up took a lot of effort to get this thing apart as I said a lot of effort so here's our nice little piston comes out it's a cute little thing didn't look like it was very dirty at all the next thing that sucks about this ugh, let me unscrew the screws that screw is kind of screwed up is that the design of this engine is such that this drive washer had little knurls on it and the end of the crankshaft is knurled well, this thing is stripped, and it was stripped when I got it. Let's see if I can pull it off here, because it basically just spins on the crankshaft. So when I did get it to turn, I put a prop on it to turn it over, and I couldn't get it to turn the uh, crank crank at all. I wanted to pull this crankshaft out, but now this thing is giving me some trouble. So anyway. I mean, it's not really that important, I guess, to pull this thing out. I did want to show you. Okay, so I got it off. And here's our cute little crankshaft. Let me move some of this stuff out of here. Let me zoom in again. Too far for the camera. Come on, Mr. Camera, can you zoom in on that a little bit? 
Anyway, look at, hopefully you can see, you can see that that was a knurled area and it's pretty beat up. Now if you look inside here, you know, there's no knurls in there at all. It's basically was spinning and it looks like somebody maybe had attempted to do some staking or something like that to it. So that's the only thing. If I could resolve this contra piston moving and if I could get assurance that this is all the parts of the engine, I might actually uh, maybe send this to a machine shop or try it myself. The idea I had was maybe since there's already kind of a dimple or a start there is maybe just get a sixteenth inch drill bit and drill a hole into this and partially into the grooves or the knurls of the crankshaft so that I could insert a, a peg, a steel peg in there, kind of like a Woodruff Keys type of deal to lock it so that I could actually get this engine to run. But again, as I said, I'm not sure if I have all the pieces. I think all the pieces are here. It's just a matter of trying to get this contra piston to move to some degree at all. But uh, this was a quick look, or a look inside, not a quick look, a look inside of a Webra Piccolo engine that still has some issues that maybe, if I'm lucky, I can get resolved so that uh, this thing will run again. But until I get these issues resolved, uh, this is the extent of what we're going to be able to do with this engine. Okay, so I have an addendum. As soon as I shut this video off and close that video out, I did something else. I took some CLR, calcium lime rust remover, seeing as both of these things are steel, and I just used a Q-tip and went around the top here and let it sit for a couple of minutes. And I did the same thing down here. And then I cleaned it off real good with alcohol. And using a punch, down in here I did, was able to just gently tap it and I was able to get that contra piston to move. So now the contra piston moves. Now the next hurdle is to try and find some means to stake this on here because I was just trying to put a prop with some washers on there and tighten it really tight and it would turn over, it would you know go through compression but as soon as I started to put more compression on it with the the screw here then the thing would just start slipping. So We've hurdle, we've uh, gone over one more hurdle now is uh, as soon as my battery for my drill charges up I'm going to try and put a 16th inch bit right here since there's already kind of a little cut out there and see if I can't just drill a hole there and see if I can't just put cut off a piece of this I think it's an old hex key, small hex key and jam it in there and see if that won't lock it in place so I can at least run this a uh, little engine. So anyway, uh, wish me luck and maybe I'll be able to get this engine running.